college football returns to the video game industry with EA Sports College Football 25. I'm giving away two copies, one for the PS5, the other for the Xbox Series X. Go to the link in the description below and join the giveaway. Now to our feature presentation. Inside the new home of the Rangers, Globe Life Field in Arlington. The national spotlight is on MLB The Show's Game of the Week. It's the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. And stepping in for the Leading Astros, the Kyle Tucker. Houston, the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. And that one fouled off. Comes on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. So next up for Houston, Corey Jolks. In the air, foul off first. Out number two. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Two out spaces empty. And another ball. Outside, and that is ball four. Perfect. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. The 1-1. One, one. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here in game three of this four-game series. Good job to fight that one off. One and two now, Altuve waits. The high heat, too much on that one. Here's Leody Tavares. Go. For the Rangers, the center fielder. Leody Tavares. the pitch. That one ripped. That's back. And that one hops the wall. And it's a double to start the bottom of the first. He was all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. At the play, Evan Carter. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Righty to the play. And a curve misses outside. Headed for the plate. The throw in. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. One nothing. Well, the strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where no, it came from. That. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Seeger stands in now. To the right side. Off balance beat. There's one. A sensational double play. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. And the pitch. Rip to short. Over to Abreu. That's the third out. Back 
back in Arlington. And now it's Alex Bregman, one of the best in the game against right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, that's another story. Singy, is this more common today? Guys really only succeeding against pitchers throwing from a specific side? I think it's because you just don't get a very long trial period anymore. Oh. I mean, with the analytics and the numbers, teams are looking for instant success with the lineups that they construct. So if you don't figure it out quickly against certain types of pitchers, you're just not going to get those opportunities. Bottom of the zone and a cold strike. Gets a piece and stays alive. The Rangers leading by a run here at the top of the second. Foul ball still one and two count. Slider misses outside. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's no, too that's high, a ball, ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Man at first with one gone. Here's the veteran first baseman, Jose Abreu. Next pitch is outside. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And no one can get there. Diaz around second, headed for third. Coming home. The throws <laughs> offline. He's saved. It's 1 1. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. A well deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there on its way and here he circles the bases and they grab the lead it's 3-1 and next to hit for Houston Jeremy Pena next Aye. offering is in for a strike Yeah, there's a ball still in the second already at 44 pitches so some concern there next pitch way two. upstairs stays alive swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt Got him. Oh. Two gone after the strikeout. So the oh, Houston lineup turns over. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Kyle, Kyle Tucker. Tucker. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs. Three. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Back at Globe Life Field, bottom Rangers. half of inning number two. The base Here's base. the veteran second baseman, Marcus, Marcus Simeon. Simeon. Righty delivers. Foul ball there. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Well, Next pitch is downstairs. <laughs> got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. The wind of the pitch. That one way inside. One down, base is empty. Hard ground ball, base now. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Here's Josh Young. 
And a foul ball. And now two and two. Bows it back with two strikes. Fights it off. He'll see another. The 2 2. And there's a base hit to left. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Batting it. The Next is hitter. the designated hitter, Ezekiel Duran. And here it comes. To third, might be two. Over to Altuve. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Now the number two hitter, Corey Jones. Now a check swing, but he held up. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get yeah. some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And he deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Now battle. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Jordan. All around, I think if you Alvarez. asked anyone in this organization who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. In the air, out towards right center. Tavares running hard to get it. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. And there's two away. We'll say Altuve up to hit here. Hard hit left side. And that is the inning. And we're back we as we go to the last of the, the third. Catcher. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. The wind of the pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. He's got it. And there's one down. And now it's the Rangers' leadoff hitter, Leody Tavares. Leody Tavares. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Clobber to right field, way back. Good. His first homer of the year. It's 3 2. Now, here is Evan Carter. One down, base is empty. And another ball. 2 1. The pitch. Rangers down by a run here in the last half of the third. That smash towards center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two outs. Now it's Corey Seager. Seager. Two down, nobody on. Now one ball, miss. One strike. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two outs. That Can't one is upstairs. Pull. Goes down looking.
The Lone Star series rolls on as we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's Alex Bregman. Bregman. And the right-hander deals. Almost got him. What the setter's time. looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. He feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff and stay with it. This one in the air center field. Sizing this one up. And out number one on the ground. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Yaner Diaz. One out, base is empty. And that one fouled off. That misses. And it's two and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Jose Abreu up to hit. Jose Abreu. Two down, nobody on. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. And a pitch. Right through there, got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Bottom of the fourth. Here's a big power threat. Adolis Garcia. Here comes a pitch. And that one lifted in the air center field. McCormick makes the grab. One up, one down. Here's Marcus Simeon. Number two, second baseman. For Marcus Simeon, probably the biggest adjustment and improvement he's made has been on defense. Simeon made 35 errors as a shortstop in 2015 with the Oakland A's. And by the time 2021 came around, he won a gold glove with the Blue Jays. Left field, Alvarez sizes this one up, and it's caught for the out. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out now in front that. on that pitch First away pitch. and wasn't able to stay close. Nathaniel Low up to hit. One, two now. High fly ball out to center field. McCormick trying to get there. Makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. We go to the top of the fifth, leading off Chaz McCormick. Here's a 1 1. In the air, right field, Garcia moving under it. Pulls it in for the out. And there's one down. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. The pitch. Fought off foul. Upstairs. Oh, foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. In the dirt, and it's three and two. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A gigantic blast, and they boost their lead. It's 4-2. Back to the top of the lineup, here's Kyle Tucker. And another ball. And a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. 
pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. And next is the designated hitter, Corey Jolts. Corey. Two down, nobody on. Here in game three of this four game series. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. That's ball two. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back in Arlington, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. The 2-1. And there's a foul ball. Ground ball to Brayu. He steps on He's the bag, up. and the leadoff man set down in their the half of the fifth. The Ezekiel Duran digs He's in down. The Astros Duran. up by two. Last half of inning number five. Next pitch in for a strike. Now three and two. Swing and a ball hammered left field. A dive and he can't haul it in. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two bagger. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now, Jonah Heim. Oh, and dude. another ball. Two more. Looked like it was a little bit up. This one in the air. Bregman settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next event. Man on second, two down. Hot shot to third. Throws to first. That ends the inning. And they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Dane Dunning. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. The left fielder, number 44, Jordan Alvarez. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Up the middle. Over to low. Oh. Yeah, they get the out on Alvarez. Now batting. So here's the cleanup the hitter, Jose Altuve. Altuve. Right hander kicks deals. Aye. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. <laughs> One down, base is empty. On a line, base hit. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. That line drive isn't going to light up StatCast or anything like that, but it gets the job done, and 
He just kind of caught it on a weird spot of the bat, but he didn't get cheated with the swing, that's for sure. A one-two. And Whoa. another ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Got him. And there's two away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Yainer Diaz. At the belt and fires. That one's in there. One and two. One ball. Two strikes. Sets him down looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Back at Globe Life Field, bottom of the six. Here's the left fielder, Evan Carter. And a pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The one two. And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. Next offering is down low. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's that's wrong. Outside. His Four ability four. to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career oh, since day one. one. So that's now it's Corey point. Seager oh, with the tying run Seager. at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Misses three and one. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this one. Right, right. This is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. And the righty deals. And he hits a ground ball right side. Over to second for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Well, he didn't recognize changeup early enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Astros go to the pen. And here comes Lance McCullers Jr. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Now it's Marcus Simeon. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Two on, one out. Fouls it off, still one and two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Swings and misses, struck him out. Now batting. So two down now, and here is Nathaniel Lowe. Two on, two outs. That one pulled foul. pitch knocks that one away and we'll do it again I strike three got him looking on the change up top of inning number seven and here's the first baseman Jose Abreu Abreu Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Very hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job. Just couldn't keep it fair. The one two. Three. He goes down looking. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. Ball to strike. 
And a rope into center field, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything came together yeah, for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Fouled off. He was late. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count. And clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Man at first, one away. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Oh, back, back to back base good. hits. Really nice right job field. staying up the middle with Kyle. his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Stepping in, Kyle Tucker. That one down the line. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. The throw to third. Safe. He beats it. Big RBI for him right there. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Now here is Corey Jones. The Strohs trying to break this one open here in the top half of inning number seven. Kicks and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So digging in, your Don Alvarez. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. In comes the run from third. It's 6-2. Andrew Heaney on the pitch here. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Now pitching for the Rangers, number 44, Andrew Heaney. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Jose Altuve. On a strike, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Ugly oh, swing right there. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Two balls, two, balls, two, two strikes. strikes to count with two outs. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two two now. Helpful. In the dirt. Runners hold tight, but it's a full count now. Hey. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the prediction. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the, the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. McCullers winds fires. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizing this one up. Makes the grab one down. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. One down, base is empty. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Comes hey. up empty, that's strike two. He Wait, has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. The punch out there, and two away now. Two outs, base is empty. Up next for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. Two outs. Breaking ball through there for a strike. In the dirt, two balls, two strikes. Two 
three. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three up, three down inning. We go to the we eighth. And stepping in for the, the Astros, first first Alex two. Bregman. Alex Bregman. The lefty fires. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. A wide to kick the pitch. And they'll do it again. Out to short. Seeger. Tosses across oh. the first. First out in the top of the eighth. Now a catcher up to him, Yanner Diaz. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. The wind and the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. The wind and the pitch. And hey. swinging. And now the first now baseman, back. Jose Abreu. Abreu. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. That's down and in. Strike two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. To the bottom of the Leo, eighth, Leo, digging Leo, in Leo. is the switch inning outfielder, Leody Tavares. Tavares. And he deals. Tapped softly on the ground, and it foul. goes just foul. Righty delivers. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Fires across oh. the diamond, and that's one away no as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Evan. Evan Carter getting ready to hit. Carter. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Two straight. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try nope. to take that right back up the middle approach. Wouldn't yeah, chase that time. Outside, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been no really matter. patient Number at the five. play. The game Number plan five. that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking Deeper. for. Right there. The one one is fouled off. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. McCullers a move to first. Carter back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Righty to the plate. Helpful. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The other way makes the grab for the second out. 
He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. Yeah, you know, line drives won't right, always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit below, the better off you're going to be in the long run. McCullers keeping an eye on him. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. Two outs. Good yep, eye in that spot. Out. Ground ball right side. He gets there with the slide. And very nicely done for the out. And we're back. We go to the ninth. And now Chaz McCormick. Chaz McCormick. The 1-1. One -one. Swings and chases a low one there. One ball, two straight. High fly ball, right field. Garcia heads after it. Puts it away for the out. One down. Digging in, up, Jeremy up, Pena. Up. The short side. Jeremy. Base is empty, Pena. one away. Here at the top of the ninth. That's Next offering is downstairs. There's a strike. And here it comes. Hangs and misses. It's a strikeout. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. Left hand hitter waits. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance. And it is foul. Two down, nobody on. We're in game three of this four-game series. Aye. Swings and misses. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Back in Arlington. So bottom of the nine. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Simeon. And it is two and one. Two balls, one strike. And That's another ball. ball. A three one. Yeah. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Got a full count. We'll see another payoff pitch. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer Three. all around the league. Swing and a miss, no, and he no, struck no. him no, out. No. And now no, just two no. outs away. No. He's two outs away. So next to hit for Texas, Nathaniel Lowe. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Fights that one away, still one and two. One down, base is empty. What? And he chases that one. And they're down to their last out. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. Right-handed reliever. In there at the knees for a strike. McCullers is just one strike away. That to right. Tucker really on his horse for it. He pulls it down. Ball game. And the Astros bounce back from consecutive losses to take game three of the series. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere in a wall. You just can't forget your first save.